Kakalosh Bokotosh, we're continuing with Simander Samech Bet. We were speaking about Kabbalat Shabbat, and we just brought down the basics of the Gemara Mesechet Shabbat of Kuf Yutet, about putting on, where there is going to say, Boikala, Boikala, and putting on the Shabbat clothing. However, though, we have to understand that there's many, many different minagim in what exactly is said during Kabbalat Shabbat. Here he brings down the minhag of all of Israel is the same Mizmor David of Ula Hashem Ben Elim, which is Perek Kaftet of Tehilim in Kabbalat Shabbat, and then the minhag of Israel is to say Lechadodi, which means that even though Lechadodi is not brought down in the the Arizal Hakadosh, that's what the Ben Ishchai comes in and brings down, because it was always obviously Rishlomo Levi El Kavetz, but he says there's no chiyuv aminato, but Pashat Aminag Lomro. That was the minhag to actually say Lechadodi. And then at the end, they come and they say the boy kala, boy kala, which that was based upon the Gemara. Now, Minhag, Kola, the Kobani Israel, they say Lechadodi, but there's a different Minagim. So, for example, here it brings down the Minhag that some of the Edota Mizrah have that they skip out parts of the Lechadodi. And they say that that was also the Minhag of Rav Uvadia, to skip out parts of Lechadodi. He comes and brings down some Kilot, they say the Lechudinah, and some don't. So, it all depends on those customs, whether they actually say it or not. Some of it, he says, Minhaga Kilot, Kama Mi Kilot Sfaradim. It's not even all the Sfaradim that they add Mizmur Toda. So again, that means you see that all different parts, and even with the Anav Echoach, also the same thing. He says, Min Haga Ashkenazim, in some of the Adot Asfaradim, they say Anav Echoach, right, right before, right after Mizmol David. So you do see that within the entire thing, since there's nothing which is actually fixed, there's many, many different Minagim, customs, of what exactly is called Kabbalat Shabbat. The basics of the Kabbalat Shabbat is Buichala, Buichala, which is the Gemara. We all, all Israel, doesn't matter what type of a, of a, of a, wherever you come from, Sfaradim, Ashkenazim, Chatim, everybody does, right, Lechadodi. But then after that, all the rest is going to be additions, which some people have the Minag to do, some people don't have the Minag to do. It's not that one's right and one's wrong. Everyone that just comes and they do their custom. Now, the last Salah which I'll mention, which is actually very important, is, is that here it brings down that it's fitting to do Kabbalat Shabbat before Shekiah. Now, that's very, very difficult because if we do Kabbalat Shabbat before Shkia, that means a mincha would have to be done, let's say, for example, uh, 25 minutes before Shkia. So by the time of candle lighting, even beforehand, you would already have mincha. And then you finish mincha, you would start. And let's even pretend we would start because Mizmor David is not Kabbalat Shabbat and not Lechadodi. The Kabbalat Shabbat would be Mizmor Shil Yom HaShabbat or Bui Chala according to the Kabbalah, but Mizmor Shil Yom HaShabbat according to Maran or for the Ashkenazim Barechu. So now if you're going to count that as Kabbalat Shabbat, it means that you would have to start Shekiah way before. So when we're doing Peleg Mincha, so then that's, that's perfect. Why? Because that means we're doing Mincha very early. And then for sure, you're doing Kabbalat Shabbat before Shekiah. But if we're doing it, for example, even nowadays, where we're doing Shira Shirim before, because if you do Shira Shirim afterwards, also forget about it. Right? But you're talking about Shira Shirim before. You do Mincha. And now all of a sudden, you're, when are you going to do the, the Kabbalat Shabbat? You're doing it way after Shekiah. So what does it mean? You already accepted upon yourself Shabbat. What does that mean? So therefore he comes and he says, the Ra'ui Lagdim, he says it's proper to actually do it beforehand, right? In order that you get to the end of the Lechadodim, before Shekiah Tachama. He says, however though, if you don't do that, Ra'ui v'nachon shiomru befihem kodem Shekiah Tachama, shemekablim alehem tosefet mechol ala Kodesh. Which means that we come and we should say, it's not just enough thinking it, we should say it with our mouths that we are accepting upon ourselves Shabbat, before Shabbat. Now, why is this? We know that there's a mitzvah of Tosefet Shabbat. According to a lot of poskim, it's actually Doraita. So if you have to accept upon yourselves Shabbat before Shabbat, by Shkia, you're automatically accepting Shabbat. There's nothing you have to do. It's automatically you go into Shabbat. So what do you have to do? So you say with your mouth, I'm accepting upon myself Shabbat before Shabbat. And now by doing that, what I'm doing is, is automatically I'm fulfilling the mitzvah of Tosefet Shabbat. So that's just very, very important because now, especially during the entire time, these weeks, right, that we're doing it, it's very difficult to do that unless we do Plaga Mincha. Because if you're not doing Plaga Mincha and you're doing it so close to the Shekiah, the way that we do it, unless you're going to start the Mincha way before, then the majority of people are not ready. So therefore, you should actually say this with your mouth and say, I'm accepting upon myself Tosefet Shabbat in order to do that before the Shekiah and then you accept upon yourself Shabbat.